while since I've done the video. Um, no, that's not quite going to work, is it? Because I'm looking at, looking at myself for fuck's sake. Well, welcome back to another video, everyone. Uh, I've come up for a walk today because I felt like the woods were the best place to come. Uh, nice and peaceful, it's nice and quiet. The weather's a little bit kind of overcast, cloudy, quite foggy and misty at times, but it's quite so I thought I'd come to the woodland and uh, take some photographs. And there's no fog, or mist, or rain. Slightly overcast, with a little bit of burst of colour in the sky. But a little bit of a breeze, but because I'm in the woodland it's nice and showered. And I've come across this tree. And this tree is gorgeous, and I've got to take a photo of it. So It's got these beautiful kind of sweeping arms that come out from the side. And this big central middle part's all rotted. Ideally I'd need a bigger wide angled lens but I've only got the 50 with me today and the 35 to 70 but that kind of acts like a 50mm anyway on a crop sensor but uh, I can make the most of what I've got. There's lots of green here, lots of green on the ground and there's lots of green on the tree itself as well. It's quite nice here, I might just sit here for 5 minutes and just wait for the light to touch it because there's some light coming from this side from the sun which is nice and it just lights it up a little bit giving it a little bit of natural natural luminance which is quite nice so I'm using a 50mm lens today and I've got my Nikon D7000 as well so uh, I'm going to give that a whirl I might try and pop in a, a uh, what, they call, what they call those lenses polarizers not lenses, filters, a polarizer filter stick that on there and see if that brings up the vibrancy of the greens and the sort of dark tone greens really and there's a bit of brown there and a bit of white from the moss but yeah let's see how that goes so I've just come through some woodland over that side where I was before and uh, just pre been presented with this lovely little scene that's coming over we've got the, f the fog and the mist is actually coming back now I was sitting in there, was, I could feel the cold coming through from the wind. But it's lovely, it's just beginning to sort of hide everything in the far distance. It's slowly creeping its way up here, which is lovely. So I think I might just wait here for a little while and see what, uh, see what it comes to. Just in the distance there, there's a tree I've just noticed. Let's pinch a bit. There is the... It might be worth having a little look, although it is touching the sky. It might be worth having a little nose at that. It's quite nice though. It's quite good to be out again. So as we talk now, the, the mist is actually coming right from up there and it's now beginning to sort of creep along the side of the, the woodland here and there's this lovely tree that's got these lovely, it's a beech tree I think, and it's got this lovely kind of twisty gnarly branches. There's another one just next to it, another one there behind me and that one there. I've lost that tree that's up there, it's completely gone in the, in the mist but just wait for it to get a little bit thicker and then I'm going to take a picture of that with the mist in it because it's lovely how it's just pushing through but every now and then you get a little bit of light that comes in as well from the sun which is just poking through there but it's getting quite it's much 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 thicker than it was so just waiting for that to just go it's slowly creeping in I'll share it when I'm done to the back of the screen there and then this stump a bit. Look at this moss with this these droplets of water beautiful so I've just used the 35 to 70 on there just to get in and I'm at seven I'm at dot on 70 and I've got a aperture of about f10 there we go No, you can't see that from the trees. Literally, how they go. Fifth of a second. 
what did I say? But that's what it is, and it's beautiful. Sometimes landscapes you just have to get down lower. It's all about the miniature. Well, that's me for done. I'm gonna go and enjoy the rest of the woodland around this way now, and uh, I'll catch up with you on the next video, guys. Keep tuned because I'm gonna keep. Uh, I'm gonna post the rest of the photos. Uh, on my website www.trevpackerphotography.com and you can uh, check them all out from there and I'll put a few at the end of this video as well for you to look at. Mm -hmm.